Hi guys, and this is the last recipe from my cook lookbook video, which I'm hoping you all saw, and it's my apple caramel roses. Really easy to make, some super delicious flavors going on here. So you've got a crispy biscuit base, a beautifully smooth, sweet caramel middle, and then these gorgeous roses, which are actually made out of apples. It looks impressive. I promise you, follow the video step by step, and you won't find it too difficult to make. To make the biscuit base, I'll be using 225 grams of crumbed digestive biscuits. Now you can crumb this with a bag and a rolling pin or in a food processor or however you fancy. You'll also need 55 grams of butter and one tablespoon of golden syrup. You could also sub this out for corn syrup. For the sweet caramel filling, I'll be using 150 grams of butter, 150 grams of soft brown sugar and one tin of sweet condensed milk and that's typically 397 grams. And for the show-stopping decorative rose apple topping, I'll be using three ruby red apples, some apricot jam, roughly 120 grams, 320 grams of sheet ready roll puff pastry, a tablespoon of sugar, and some water. I'm gonna start off by making the biscuity layer that I'll be pushing into the bottom of this nine inch, that's 23 centimeter flan dish that I've greased with some butter. So to do that, we're gonna melt the butter and the golden syrup in a pan. So just to remind you, it's the 55 grams of butter I'm melting here with the golden syrup. The other 150 you'll be using for that delicious caramel layer. Now when this has all melted, like it has now, pop in your biscuit crumb and mix it until it's all combined. and pour that into your dish. And now I'm gonna spread that across the bottom and up the sides using a spoon or a glass or whatever you fancy using. And when this is done, it can now go into the fridge to firm up or we make the caramel middle. So for that, you'll want a wide bottom saucepan and you're gonna pop in your 150 grams of butter together with 150 grams of sugar. Now I'm using soft, dark brown because it gives them full of flavor, I think. And you're gonna melt that over a very moderate heat. And when the sugar has all melted like this, you can add in that condensed milk bring it up to the boil and boil it for two minutes but keep it stirring the whole time and after two minutes that's done it's smooth and it's glossy and it is gorgeous Now just pop that to one side while we get on with making that fancy finish. And that starts with preparing the pastry. Now turn the whole sheet into strips of pastry that are one and a half centimeters. Easiest way is to use a school ruler like this. Now you wanna cut them into different lengths, ranging between the maximum 24, which is the sheet, and no smaller than about 12 centimeters. And those different sizes are gonna give us different sized roses. Then you need to core and slice your apples. Now on your hob, dissolve the sugar and the water in a large pan. And when the sugar's dissolved and it's bubbling away, you can pop your apples in. Now we're gonna cook these just for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna do this because it'll help soften them so you can bend them and you'll see why that's important later. And it'll also stop them going brown. And after a minute or two, you want to get them out. You don't wanna stew and overcook them. You just need them so you can bend them, but get them out so that they can start to dry off a little. So whilst those are cooling down so you can actually handle them, you'll want to heat your apricot jam so it becomes a little bit runny. Now it's time to work with those pastry strips and you're gonna paste them with a little bit of apricot jam, which will help stick the whole thing together. So when that's done, we're then gonna layer the apples on, overlapping them one at a time. And then you wanna roll it up. 
And that's the first one made. Then nestle that into your caramel. Then I'm gonna do that again and again until I fill the caramel, remembering I can cut them at different lengths to make different sized roses. And while you're doing that, preheat your oven to 200 Celsius, ready for it to go in. Now this can either go into the fridge until you're ready for it, or go straight into your preheated oven. And after 15 short minutes in the oven, the pastry will be cooked and it will be good to come out. Now this dessert is best now to be left to go cold so that the caramel layer sets the roses in and when you serve it up, you'll get nice slices. But there is one thing you wanna do first and that's sprinkle over some icing sugar to add a little bit of extra sparkle. And there we go, there's the finished dish ready to take to the table. Now I know there's quite a few steps you go through to create this masterpiece, but everything is relatively simple and easy. And when you do make it and put it down in front of people, the look on their faces will be amazing. Now, if you've enjoyed watching this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get the two new recipes I put up every single week. And like always, come back for seconds. <laughs>